This is the spark timer apparatus. I use this to make the data tapes that you all have. Um, the way it works is up here at the top, we have an electromagnet, and that's connected to a power supply over here. And when the electromagnet is energized, this bolt, it's a metal bolt with some rubber uh, stoppers and a metal washer, can be held up here at the top. So if I energize the power supply, this bolt will be held up here. When I turn off the power supply for the electromagnet, that bolt will fall. And in front here, we have a thin copper wire, and right behind this paper is another thin copper wire. This paper is a heat-sensitive paper. It's much like a cash register printer paper. So <coughs> the, the two copper wires, the one in front and the one behind, are connected to another power supply down here through those wires, and that puts out a very, very high voltage. And when you have a high voltage in a small space, a spark can jump. So as the bolt falls, you have the copper wire, a small space, the metal washer and the bolt, and then another small space with the copper wire in the back. And the voltage is high enough so a spark will jump from the front wire through the washer to the back wire and makes a mark on the tape. Those marks occur every 1 60th of a second. And so as it falls, every 1 60th of a second, it makes a little mark on the paper. So I'll demonstrate that. I turn on this power supply, and when I hold the button, it sparks. Okay, so I'll get the sparks going, and then I'll turn off the, the electromagnet, and the bolt will fall. So you can see, as it fell, it made the sparks every 1 60th of a second. So that's how those paper tapes were made. And then we can use the data from there to eventually get the acceleration due to gravity. Okay.